I was digging around on my maker cart and I found this piece of pub oak that was sent to me by Andy Cohen. This piece of oak came out of a pub that was built in 1649. I'd started working on it a while back and I'd already had it tubed and squared, so it's ready to go straight to the lathe. I've got a nice Sierra pin kit to install it into when we're finished, so let's get to turning. I'm ready to begin turning this blank and I'm extremely anxious to see what it looks like I got such a nice finish on this blank with the skew that I was able to start with 220 grit and I sanded it down to 400. I'm going to get it off of these turning bushings and onto some nonstick bushings and then we'll clean it and micro mesh it. But I just want you to take a look at the grain in this oak. You just don't see this much grain in oak that you get today. It's so tight. Very beautiful blank. just finished applying CA to my blank. I need to get it off the nonstick bushings and we'll start micro meshing. I just finished micro meshing. I did not record it. Uh, the blank looks amazing. There's no ripple effect in the blank, but you can see some little dimples in the grain. The grain on this was relatively deep and it looks like uh, there's some concave areas where the CA may have uh, sort of pulled into the grain. So I think what I'll do is it should be good and clean after polishing. I'm gonna go ahead and put one to two more coats of medium on this blank, and then we'll micro mesh it again, and that should all uh, level out and disappear. I'm gonna let this air dry for a little bit, and uh, we'll come back and take a look and see if it needs one additional coat before we start the micro mesh process. I ended up putting a second coat of medium CA on the blank, and I did that not because I saw any dimples in the grain, but because I'm going to run back through the full set of micro mesh pads. And since I've already done that once, and since the layer of CA on the blank is relatively thin, I don't want to uh, buff my way through it. So it just gave me a little buffer um, on the CA finish. This time around, I'll get you a little bit of uh, micro mesh action. And we're at the final pad. I'm going to go ahead and buff for just a little bit extra on this one. Want to make sure we really polish it up and get it looking nice. That made a world of difference. I'm just not seeing any divots in the blank where the grain is. It looks great. Get a little wax on here, buff her up, and she should be good to go. We are ready for a fairly standard assembly. This is, of course, a Sierra style pin. We've seen many of these on the channel. I do not know the pub that this blank came from, so I'm hoping if Andy still follows the channel, I've had it for a while, but I'm hoping if he still follows the channel, he can chime in if he knows and tell us um, the name of the pub that this blank came from. Ooh, I like that. We got a really nice fit. That looks nice. I had my bushing back here, but you probably noticed I forgot to use it for the press. 
It happens every now and again, I guess. I don't want to say I got in a hurry, but I just overlooked it. Drop our spring on here into the nib. Put the transmission together. Work the lubricant. That looks nice. If you can ignore the fingerprint that I put on the end of the blank, we've got a really nice pin. I'd really like to thank you for joining me in the shop today as I turned this piece of oak from a pub dated to 1649. It's certainly not the oldest piece of wood I've turned, but I really enjoy turning wood with history. If you take a look at the pin, take a look right there at the trim ring. There is no gap. Take a look at the cap. No gap. We have a very nice fit, a very nice transition. It turned out gorgeous. The blank is flawless. And I really hope that Andy still follows the channel. And if he knows the name of the pub that this came from, if you'll drop that into the uh, comments, I will change the description of the video and add the name of the pub. I'd really like to know. Thank you, Andy, for sending me this amazing blank. I'm sorry it took so long to turn it. I have so many blanks, it's hard to get to them all. It's impossible to get to them all. I'd like to say that. Uh, but I want to thank everyone for joining me in the shop today. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.